I'm just gonna use classic and I'm just gonna delete uh, well or maybe just get rid of some members of the current judgment day and replace them with you know who if you get the idea here of course if you get the idea here um, The Judgment Day is supposed to be like this right now, if it wasn't with the addition of Carito. I mean, it's just bloody obvious, really. I mean, that's just bloody obvious. So, first of all, Asuka has to be on Raw. I know that much. Oh, and I gotta get rid of the Kabuki Warriors by disbanding them because both of the Kabuki Warriors are meant to be on the same team. Both Asuka and, I believe, uh, Kairi Sane are meant to be on the same f faction together. But then we have, uh, I believe we have a DLC wrestler that is meant to be over in this faction. And course we're gonna have to put a new uh, stable name just for Katana and Kaden and with the addition of Lyra Valkyria I don't want to fiddle with the music though. <laughs> that music is meant to be saved right there. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course, I had gotten rid of the music because I am trying to get not to get a copyright strike. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But here are your winners: Katana Chance, Kaden Carter, and Lyra Valkyria, the Good Girls. Here are your winners: Katana Chance, Kaden Carter, and Lyra Valkyria, the There's a reason behind uh, doing that. Here are your winners. Katana Chance, Kaden Carter, and Lyra Valkyria, the Good Girls. 
but I just don't want to get a copyright strike if you know what I'm saying. What is up with this faction? I'm gonna get rid of them as a stable. That is such a stupid stable. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna add another member for that. And they'll be called Union when an announcer would call them that, but they are going to be called the Unholy Union. Yes, the Unholy Union as a trio. But we can add another uh, onto the list, and that's going to be JC Jane. She'll be part of this faction. Use Isla's music. Once we no longer have uh, uh, some sort of claim when it comes to the music, but for this video, we're just starting off universe mode. I don't know why the Viking Raiders are here, but I think they should be known as the War Raiders instead. The War Raiders is more likely a thing than, than that. <laughs> uh, but you get the idea. Roman and Jimmy aren't within the bloodline anymore. Jacob Latou. If I remember correctly, Jacob Latou is in there along with Taman Tonga. The Gorilla and of And here's the thing about with this bloodline here, if I remember correctly, No one hates this version. No one likes this version of the bloodline. Especially when Solo kicked out uh, the former leader of the faction known as the bloodline, which that would be Roman Reigns, who is now the OTC. If 
if I remember correctly. They boo them for all I care. And it's because Solo took over the bloodline, if you remember correctly. Here are your winners. The bloodline. Yeah, they were meant to do this. Especially when you have to have solos of victory music. And there you go. I'm just doing something when it comes to victory and entrance for the bloodline. And there's a reason why Solo is powerful over on the bloodline than Roman at the moment. But here's the thing here. Jacob Lop 2 might take power of the bloodline eventually. I mean eventually. Which is not at the very moment. And it's going to be just like when Roman had Solo as his enforcer. We're going to use the apron video for this because I'm just setting up universe mode right now. Just setting it up as we go along. We're going to make this faction be more known as the D'Angelo family moving forward. And then we're going to put forth the Wyatt Six. But first, a certain member of the of Alpha Academy needs to be removed and that would be Chad Gable of course because there's a thing here Gable would actually start a faction with the Creed Brothers by calling themselves American Made. But we're gonna call themselves American Alpha.
Yeah, we're gonna call themselves uh, American Alpha. And that's what we're gonna call them. American Alpha. And that's because they have the Creep Brothers. But, yeah, get the idea and you get the gist of the whole story. And yet they're gonna be so full of themselves. And they're no longer had to go by the diamond mine. Of course, if you get the idea here, Gable is a heel. And yet, I have to make a new video or what I might have to make a new Titan Tron for Gable. Here are your winners Chad Gable and Brutus Creed, American Alpha. Here are your winners Chad Gable and Brutus Creed, American Alpha. Yeah, we are making American Alpha thing here in this game, but at the most point, they're not supposed to cheer at them. They're supposed to be booing at American Alpha because Alpha Academy's leader just belittles uh, um, his own disciples. Which that would be Otis, Akira Tozawa, and Maxine Dupree for eons. So, now what I'm going to do now is put the others that are in damage control over onto Raw. Which that would be with the inclusion of Dakota Kai, Eo Sky, and Kairi Zayn. But Ilya Dragunov needs to go over to Raw. Yeah. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, has to go over to Raw. And I know for a fact, Indy Hartwell is no longer on any roster. Which is some sort of pity. Because if you noticed, uh, WWE had released a few of their stars. And here's the thing I'm going to put Zilla Vatu in onto SmackDown. Put him in the bloodline. Yeah, I'm putting Zilla Vatu in the bloodline.
And that's just for a reason. I don't know why he would walk out like Damien Priest for. But I might have to do something about that. And speaking about Damien, I had to start a new faction along with him, too. Because he's no longer of the Judgment Day. Let's see. Who else was in this faction? Oh yeah, Rhea and Roman and Jay. I gotta put Roman in. Yeah, here we go. Roman Reigns. And lastly, I'm just gonna take Jey Uso and will be known as yeah well we're gonna be known as not the judgment day because the, ju the Judgment Day are pricks anyways. We'll be known as the Order. Or better yet, the Prime Time Order. The Prime Time Order. Yes. Timothy Primetime, Damien Priest, Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, and Rhea Bloody Ripley. I thought I would make a video just for myself, my own Titan Tron. Mix it up with Damien and Rhea. Knowing that we three cut ties with the Judgment Day. The three of us had cut ties with our pass, which is the Judgment Day. Damien, Rhea, and I had already cut our ties with Finn and Dominic and JD for a reason and that reason is is because they're all a bunch of pricks and we couldn't stand them And who was meant to have that title? Oh, that's right, Cody Rhodes, along with the WWE Championship. Which was Roman's. So I gotta do a swap. Oh, and Gunther is not supposed to be the Intercontinental Champion.
any more than that would be Braun Breaker. Speaking of Braun, he needs to be called up to Raw. Oh, and there is a Women's Undisputed Championship. An Undisputed Women's Universal Championship. Which we're going to give it over to Bailey. The Women's US Champion is going to be Bianca Belair just to start off with this and we're going to give the Women's Intercontinental Champion to Rhea Ripley. Just to start off here but the thing is, is that the Women's World Championship is currently Liv Morgan. But at this point, it wasn't Liv's. It was Becky Lynch's title. So there you go. Uh, let's see. The World Tag Team Champs were not Damien and Finn. Because that would be Finn and JD. At a point in time. But I'm just going to give... it to the new day so let's do this I'm gonna have to put Braun Breaker over to Raw Cody is not meant to be on Raw anyways anymore because he is going over to SmackDown. Jimmy Uso. Lyra Valkyria. Roman Reigns. Ricochet is no longer on WWE anymore. Uncle Howdy. Of course, we gotta put Uncle Howdy somewhere. Joe Gacy. Along with the rest of his faction, is meant to be in here too. If I remember correctly, wasn't the women's champs supposed to be uh, Jade and Bianca by any chance? And at this point in time, I believe it wasn't Seth freaking Rollins, but I think it was Damian Priest. The Intercontinental Champion at that time was Zami Zayn.
the WWE World Tag Team Champions, the New Day. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my God, I am so corny when it comes to that. And I gotta put another championship belt in here. And it's gonna be the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Which that belongs to Rhea Bloody Ripley. For a reason. I gotta remove some people from here, which that would be, uh, I remember correctly, EO is not meant to be over on this show. <laughs> yeah, EO is not supposed to be on there. <laughs> and so is Kyrie. sorry. Uh, let's see. Tiffany is, however. Shell Lee was already been cut. Selena Vega, I believe she would be on Monday nights, just like with Ray and the rest. Kevin Owens, I believe, is on Friday nights. Along with Gargano and Ciampa. DIY. Karrion Cross is not supposed to be on this show anymore because he's on, I believe it was Monday Nights, if I were to be honest. Alexa is going to be on Friday Nights, however. Chelsea and Piper, Friday Nights. say the creeds <laughs> not supposed to be right over there on the very show the creeds Monday nights actually and Bray Wyatt was already been deceased but there was already a stable meant to honor him. And that's called the Wyatt Six. Josh Briggs and I'm putting Jensen in the same show. Gacy is on uh, Monday nights now. And I'm putting Carmelo Hayes on Friday night too. Along with Baron Corbin, who the WWE had already cut. I'm 
also putting Axiom and Nathan Fraser on the same show for some reason. The women's U.S. champion is Bianca Belair, and speaking of Bianca, I think she might have to go after those tag titles. And I might have to add Jade Cargill along, because we can't count her out. Don't we? So here's how we're going to do it. The last three on slot number seven for the women's championship. We'll go over there. And speaking of the title that's being held by Cody Rhodes, I might have to do something about with the title that is currently in the hands of Logan Paul as well, as in the U.S. title. So there you go. I was gonna craft my own universe my own image so backlash is not in San Juan Puerto Rico by the way it's not in San Juan that was last year this year we had to go to to France To Marseille, France. Yeah, we had to go to Marseille, France. In Marseille, France, they will host the PLE for that, and we're gonna. In fact, do something with this. Let's go import a show. And it's going to be King and Queen of the Ring. And it'll be 14. Matches. I'm bringing Backlash. No, 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 no. Hell no. Don't do that. No, 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 no. That would be stupid. Uh, let's see. I'm putting Vengeance on here. On the docket. 14 matches would be good. Raw and SmackDown 
we'll share this PLE. Then we have money in the bank, which will make 14 matches out of that. Then we have SummerSlam, which is meant to be in Cleveland. Which is meant to be in Cleveland, bloody Ohio. Home to the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Cleveland Browns for some reason. And then, of course, we would have another show just a week after SummerSlam. And this one would be Capital Punishment in Washington, D.C. The nation's capital will host Capital Punishment. Then... After fast lane, we go to bad blood. <clears throat> yeah, as in WWE bad blood, Raw and SmackDown are the host shows for bad blood. And if I remember correctly, Bad Blood was hosted in Atlanta, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Hawks. And that's if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I am actually not mistaken. Then we have Survivor Series, but before that, I have to put in another PLE, which that would be Crown Jewel. In, in Raida, Saudi Arabia. That was hosted just a few days back and I'm gonna be putting up another thing that would start on Saturdays and that's Saturday night's main event And that could be hosted anywhere. Main event could be hosted anywhere. Then we have another custom PLE which I gotta put up and that is day one Raw and Smackdown hosts day one then three or four weeks before uh, or five before Wrestlemania we're going to put in a new PLE together. We're bringing back Unforgiven, which will be hosted by both Raw and SmackDown. And the following week after Unforgiven,
it'd be an event called Judgment Day. Both Raw and SmackDown hosts that one. And then, well, a week before uh, that one PLE, we're going to have Cyber Sunday. In which Raw, NXT, and SmackDown will host it together. Yeah, Cyber Sunday. And that is one that is not with both Raw and SmackDown hosting. And then I'm going to add another PLE. And then that is Fastlane. Yep. Raw and SmackDown hosts that one. And the last event of the whole thing is going to be Spring Breakin'. Yeah, Spring Breakin' is the last PLE in, uh... The whole schedule. And I meant to have the tag team titles over on NXT. Well, crap, I forgot about that, too. And I made a much more uh, fresh women's tag team title for NXT. And if I remember correctly, Trick Williams is the NXT champ. And Dominic is no longer the North American champ. Roxanne Perez is the women's champion. I'm going to put the North American Championship for the Women's to go to Gigi Dolan. And put the NXT titles on the D'Angelo family. Here, it's screw that. I already there's already a tag title for the D'Angelos, but here you go. And let's see. Let's get started, shall we? And I don't want to do that without announcing the North American champion, and that is Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior, the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Well, anyways, let's get on to Raw. All 
We're going to go with random on the first match, and that would be Shayna Baszler defeating Maxine Dupree. And then we're going to go random on this match as well, and that's Bronson Reed. Then we have Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. And that match I can just play on to this. The OTC, Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. The OTC, the no Tribal Chief. Option but to acknowledge him. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing the Order. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Oh, Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns have consistently pushed each other to the limit. But tonight, you can see the focus, you can see the intensity in the eyes of Roman Reigns, who is determined to protect his yard here tonight. Roman is well aware. And here comes the North and the European champion, the Scottish warrior, the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> ah, the Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. OTC going to the top. Taking flight. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Neither Reigns nor McIntyre is going to back down in this fight. That in mind, Corey. From the top, look out below. And look out below. As the OTC drops Drew McIntyre. Drop attacks McIntyre like a sack of tomatoes. Telling him 
that. This is what dominance really looks like. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh, they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew's getting cut off the knees at every turn. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. This fight is pumping him up. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. One, two, three, four. And a stomp. And a stomp. Up to the gut of McIntyre. Placed in the corner. Wicked clothesline. The big dog is unleashed. And bit by bit, Reigns chipping away at the competition. Trying to go for a Superman punch, but Roman gets punched out by Drew McIntyre. Roman Reigns is furious. That he can't pin the Scottish Warrior just yet. Oh. And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. From the top, what? trying to do as much damage as humanly possible, but at what cost? Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about. Roman Reigns so dominant. Guillotine applied. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. They still do a lot of damage, though. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long while they're bridging out. Incredible. And he goes into the ring. And that's a big win for Roman Reigns. His opponent. Oh, hold up, hold up. This, this superstar. No, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? Stomp after stomp by Roman Reigns just to stop this psychopath, Drew McIntyre, in a match. And that right there is how I'm going to set up Universe Mode. I hope you enjoyed the inaugural part of Universe Mode. And I'm going to sign out of here. Bye.